Does cooking with pork lard uh, make it any better? Of course. <laughs> I mean, for <laughs> This is uh, Manchin's very new series where we're going around and trying different styles of local food and telling which is the better one. As we all know, Malaysia is a melting pot of culture and that's also seen in our food. So did you know that Chapika has two versions? One is the Chinese version which is the dry one and one is the Malay version which is the wet one. Today we'll be trying whether the dry one or the wet one is, is better. better. Let's, Let's go! go. Is the OG chakwe the Chinese one where it's really dry. Based on what you see and you try so many, what is the difference between the dry one, Chinese chakwe and the Malay one? Well, obviously, the Malay one is wet. We usually have more toppings on it. We have like prawns, veggies, like kucho papu. And then we usually eat it with pickle chilies or kicap chili. But it's interesting how it's like the same kind of dish but a different yeah. sort of twist, right? Okay, try. So textures are very gelatinous. How's the food but Spicy. I know the Malay one is more on the ketchup side, like the soy sauce is like extra. This one is like spicy, spicy. So the thing with Chinese chakwe is if you don't want it spicy, right, mm -hmm. then usually you don't add spicy. But for Chinese, if you want it spicy, you will have to ask the hawker person to add chili and they will still fry it together. Fun fact, most of the Penang chakwe we they actually serve it on top of banana leaf to make it more fragrant. Uh -huh. We Chinese have something very important called wok hei. Well, he's basically the scent of the wok. Usually it's cooked with pork lard, but this one is 100% halal. Okay. So I think this one, in terms of it being a halal chakwetel, is very, very, very good. So, how was the chakwetel just now? It then, was damn good. Um, for <laughs> me, it's a halal version, which is the first time I actually tried it. But I cannot tell the difference between the halal version and the one where you, you know, fry in pork lard. So. Uh, what I like about it is that. The spiciness is already inside the chakwe tiao instead of having like a separate chili which tastes different when you cook with it. Yeah. So how would you rate uh, this one with the wet one? Wet one <laughs> I don't want to offend people. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 10, mm -hmm. I would say 8.5. Oh, 8.5? Yeah, because I like that it's oh. spicy already. Nice. So um, for me, out of all the Chinese ones that I've tried, this one was also one of the best ones. So I will also rate it 8.5 out of 10. Munchback! Munchback! This is moving on to Munchback. Chan Kui Tiao is actually a Hokkien word, but the origin is actually traced back to, to Chaozhou. And that's actually Cantonese. On to the next location. Let's go! What we have here is the Cha Kui Tiao Basa. It's a bit different from the Chinese Cha Kui Tiao, but it's famous amongst us Malays. Have you mm -hmm. ever tried Cha Kui Tiao Basa before? I actually have tried Cha Kui Tiao Basa before. So the interesting thing was I ordered Cha Kui Tiao uh -huh. and I thought it was dry, but when it came out, it was wet Basa. Mm -hmm. But I have no complaints because look at it. This is the same dish, but then different cultures have different way of making it. If you want, Dry chow kuih tiao in Malay stores, you actually have to say kuih tiao goreng, right? Oh! Yeah, so I you say chow kuih tiao is wet already. Let's dig in! Yay! Is there a way to eat it or you just champo? Just champo. Maybe you put the egg yolk a bit. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Take it some of that. Ooh. Ooh. Gravy, right? It's very flavorful already. It feels like they have a lot of garlic inside the gravy, so it's automatically very aromatic. Very aromatic. <laughs> yeah. So do you know the history why suddenly it becomes like more wet? Well, I guess it's because us Malay we like uh, things to have pork, like gravy. Mm. 
So I guess we took the Chinese version and catered it towards the Malays lah. That's why they make it more wetter because our dishes are always kuah based. Mm. It's like a good sequel, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, Michelle, how was it? How was the chakwe kya basa? Personally, I really, really like the Malay so I really hey! like it. Then? I will go to the Malay. It's just me then. I like the dry one better. I don't know about you, but I like it dry. So this one is a segment dedicated to telling the difference between the races and how we prepare food. But in the end, it is ultimately what your taste bud tells you. But right? the winner for this episode yes. is Chakritya Pasta. So that's the end of the video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Munch. Yes, and if you have any comments you want us to compare with whether it's Kuei, whether it's Lapa, whatever, just leave it in the comments below. So see you next Bye. episode. Bye! Thanks! Hey guys, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more tantalizing videos you can munch on.